guys, welcome to Why Play. I'm Brooklyn and today I'm going to be teaching you how to make slime. You're going to need two bowls and then you're going to need one bowl to put your activator in, which I'm using Gain, but you can also use Tide. You're going to need a spoon, a half cup measuring cup, and add-ins. Today I'm going to be using glitter, sprinkles, and paint, and then I'm going to be using colored glue. So you're going to start off, you're going to take your one half cup and you're going to take your glue and then you're going to measure it and put a half cup into each bowl. So a half cup into this bowl. And then you can try to get the excess out with a knife or a spoon or a fork, anything really works. And then you're also going to put a half cup into the other bowl. Again, using your knife, fork, spoon to get the excess out. So today I'm going to teach you how to color your slime. For this you can use paint, colored glue, or food coloring. But I'm going to be using paint and colored glue. You're going to take a, a tablespoon and you're going to take your glue. I'm using yellow because yellow is one of my favorite colors. And you're going to pour a tablespoon or about that and you're going to put it into one of your bowls. You can use the knife. And then you're also going to use the tablespoon. Put that to the side. You're also going to use the tablespoon. And I'm using blue paint, but you can use any color that you want. Okay, so now you're going to take your spoon and you're going to really well, you're going to mix the color into the glue before you activate it. That's important. And if you're doing this with food coloring, just add a couple of drops. Don't add a tablespoon of food coloring. That's a lot. And then I'm going to mix the blue paint. And so now... You're going to take your activator and you're going to measure two tablespoons to start into each bowl. We will have to add more, but you don't want to add it all at one time because you risk over activating it and then it won't be stretchy or it won't really be fun to play with. And then you're going to mix with your spoon. And... You don't want to touch it right now because, well, it's, it will be really, really sticky and really hard to get off your hands. Now, if it's like this consistency, you can touch it and try to knead it with your hands. It, it's very messy, so don't be alarmed. It will get all over your hands, but that's okay because that's part of the fun of making it. This part is probably the longest part. After that, we get to add all the fun stuff. So try to, once you've like kneaded it all, try to get the extra stuff out of the bowl. Now I'd say the blue slime is ready. And you can try to get all of your hands by just going like this really quickly, but if two tablespoons wasn't enough for the type of maybe glue you're using or something like that, you can totally add more. Just, I would recommend now one tablespoon at a time. So now that the blue is done, you can put it right there and move the bowl aside. We're gonna do the yellow now. I don't think the yellow is quite ready to touch, so I'm going to add one more tablespoon. And then mix it with my spoon again. If you do this all the time, you'll get huge muscles because it's hard to mix it sometimes. And now I'm going to play it with it until it's ready like the blue sign was. And if you've already touched it and you need to add more activator, I'd suggest putting it in the bowl 
and then trying to get as much as you can off your hands and mixing it in the spoon again and then trying to play with it again. I think I need a tiny bit more activator so I'm going to try to get as much as I can back into the bowl. Add one more tablespoon and then I'm going to mix it with the spoon again. Now the reason that it's not completely yellow is because the activator is green. So when you add green activator to yellow, it's going to tint it a little bit, but it's still kind of like brown. It's pretty. You can add any color you want. doesn't have to be the same that I'm doing. This is just one variation. Try to get as much as you can out of the bowl. It's, it might be difficult, but you'll get the most slime that way. And when you're kneading it, try to stretch it because it'll make it stretchier when you're finished. I've almost got it all off my hands and then we're going to start adding the add-ins. Okay, so put your bowl aside. And now for the blue slime, I'm going to add some glitter, but you guys can add anything you want. I have a teaspoon and I'm going to just scoop some of the glitter up. You want to make like a, almost a little bit like of a little circle and then you want to add it in and now you want to mix it. If some fell wherever you're doing it just pick it up with the slime and keep going. So this is what mine looks like and yeah. Comment down below what yours turned out like and what you want to see next. We can totally do that. If you want to see me do pink slime or whatever slime, I'm just going to add one more teaspoon of glitter and then we'll move on to the Grello. And a good tip is if you make this slime and then a couple days later you accidentally like left it without the lid on of a container, you can take some lotion and mix it into the slime and it should make it a little bit more stretchy and soft. Okay, now with the Grello, we're gonna add some fake plastic sprinkles. Again, so you're gonna make a little bit of a divot and I'm not gonna measure these ones, I'm just gonna kind of eyeball it, but you can totally measure it if you want. Now these will feel cool because they're plastic and they, it might make a cool noise when you like put them together. If you add a ton, if you don't, it'll still be cool. It'll be fun to touch because it'll be a different texture. That's what it looks like. Almost reminds me of like birthday cake batter or like spring, like flowers and stuff. I'm gonna add a little bit more sprinkles and then we're done. So this is what the slime turned out like. Pretty cool if you ask me. And that's it for today. Bye guys, hope you enjoy. Come back for another video.